It's a stage set for a recovery in emerging markets. To help us ponder that question, we are joined by Rob Drakonanen of Newberger Berman, an emerging market investor with more than two decades of experience. Thanks for joining us, Rob. Thank you. So tell us, what is giving you confidence that maybe now is the moment for emerging markets? Well, I think we've seen uh, quite a number of years in which emerging markets at large have been adjusting to the new realities, new environment, uh, commodity price, of course, taking a back hit. And I think uh, that at the same time, we've seen an environment in which uh, maybe some of the countries took too much for granted. Uh, you know, countries like Brazil spring to mind in that context. And I think you've got a good chart here, which gives us a sense of just how much this change is happening at the moment. Well, exactly. So we've seen an adjustment downwards in terms of relative growth. Emerging markets still growing at a much higher clip than developed markets, but that excess of growth has been diminishing over the last few years, and it's now starting to re-accelerate again as some of the adjustments have taken place and the uh, environment uh, has created a much more sustainable footing for many emerging markets. So we're moving back towards that sort of that idea which people always had that emerging markets grow faster than the rest of the developing world. Yes, which has even been true in the last few years so in that sense nothing changed but of course the speed was still disappointing relative to the historical patterns so we do foresee a bit of return of excess growth growing wider than what we have seen over the last few years but not as close as where we were maybe in the heydays of emerging markets so we see some improvements and some uh, more constructive environment to look with more confidence ahead. And I think one of the main problems people have, or main concerns people have had about emerging markets in recent years has been sort of the weakening currencies, particularly against the dollar. And I think you've got another chart here which sort of encapsulates why maybe that moment has passed. What, what, what are we looking at here? Yeah, I think if you look back in time in 2013, we had a tapering announcement uh, from uh, the US and uh, that exposed the current account vulnerabilities that many emerging markets had. We call them the Fragile Five at the time. And it is in all fairness that people assumed that capital flows would continue to be able to finance these current account deficits. Yes, of course, and yet, of course, at the time of uh, the tapering, then those capital flows dried up and suddenly these current accounts were no longer financeable. So that led to quite an, a, a dramatic adjustment in many emerging markets. They had to adjust to this new reality, if you will. Of course, in the context of commodities having been as weak until the start of this year, uh, led to an additional layer of challenging environment for many emerging markets. But that process has largely run its course. And you can see here that the current account uh, for the top 10 uh, countries or so in emerging markets indeed um, you know showing a deficit uh, and turned around it to close to zero and maybe even a small plus in current account numbers so the adjustment is roughly 200 billion which is quite a meaningful amount of uh, current account dollars that are now uh, no longer in deficit and i guess one just lastly one of the things that sort of we tend to talk about emerging markets as a whole but i mean if you had to pick sort of one or two countries within that i mean where are you sort of most favoring right now well, at the moment, we like uh, especially sort of the reform stories. I mean, to single them out uh, specifically in Asia, we would point towards India and Indonesia, which have embarked upon uh, a good reform program uh, and that will probably have, have some years to come. Um, in uh, Latin America, we would point towards countries like Argentina. Brazil is a bit more tenuous and certainly starting to, uh, to improve and uh, make, uh, make headway. Uh, in Central and Eastern Europe, we cut countries like uh, Croatia and Serbia and other countries that are starting to do the right thing. So uh, that's very helpful from uh, a catch-up story point of view and supporting emerging markets. Great. Thank you very much, Rob.